Hey everybody, it's Sylvia Mordini, founder of Alchemy of Yoga, and this is a great energizing flow, especially for the person that's busy. So let's just start standing. Meet me here, hands at your heart. Inhale through your nose. Exhale with a sigh out your mouth. Inhale again. Exhale. Very good. Bend your knees, touch the ground, inhale, chair. Exhale, reach back, half chair. Inhale, chair. Exhale to the half chair. Breathing in and up. Exhale, double weight your right foot, lift your left knee up. Exhale. Inhale, lift your right knee up. Exhale, do it again. So notice that you're having to find a little bit of balance it doesn't just happen in the first one. I mean, maybe, but <laughs> for most humans, it's going to take a couple times. Next time you're on your right foot, left knee is up, stay there. Inhale, exhale, arms back, leg back, and it doesn't have to be to a T. It could just be a little bit, or it could go further. Inhale, bend, come back up, exhale. Left foot to right. Chair, Utkatasana, add up. Squeeze your knees together. Exhale to the half chair. Inhale, right knee up. Exhale, Ardha Utkatasana. Inhale, left. Exhale. Inhale, right and stay. Inhale here. Exhale. Inhale, exhale, arms back. Leg back at the same velocity. Could be a little bit or more and more and more. Warrior three. Inhale, come up. Arms up, knee up. Exhale, foot down. Inhale, chair. Utkatasana. Exhale, fold down the middle. Utkatasana. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, left foot steps back. Knee to the ground. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, arms back. Lean forward. Inhale, the same pattern. Exhale. Breathe in. Breathe out and release your hands. And then lift up your chest. Press your knuckles back and down. So when we lack energy, it's often because we're not breathing. So open the chest. Make yourself more attractive to breath. Inhale, exhale, hands to the ground. Pick your back knee up, step back, downward facing dog. Big breath in. Breathe out your mouth, you guys. <sighs> yeah, making sure you're getting rid of extra like residual lung capacity there so that all the carbon dioxide is out, out, out. Inhale, lift your heel, shift forward, high push up. Exhale, right knee to the ground, tap. Inhale, lift it. Exhale, left knee to the ground. Inhale. Exhale, both knees. <laughs> Inhale, lean forward. Exhale, elbow spin straight back. Inhale, cobra. Low, medium, or high. Right? And then exhale through hands and knees, belly to thighs, downward facing dog. Breathe in, breathe out. Walk your feet just a little bit further forward. Big toes touch like you're making one leg. Shift your weight forward and then bend your knees. But instead of pushing way back, <laughs> lean forward, look forward and just little hops. Try to lift your feet off the ground on the exhale. So breathe in, exhale. And then try that, little hops. They don't have to be high, they can just be really low, right? And then after three, four, five, walk your feet to the front or jump them forward. Forward fold. Big toes touch. Inhale, chair. Utkatasana. Exhale to the half chair. Ardha Utkatasana. Inhale, left knee lifts. Exhale, warrior three. 
inhale, one-legged Tadasana, exhale, half chair, inhale, right knee lifts, one-legged Tadasana, exhale, warrior three, inhale, exhale, half chair, now just chair, inhale up, exhale, fold, inhale, right foot steps back, Exhale, right knee lowers. Inhale, arms to the sky. Exhale, reaching back, lean forward. Inhale, do it again. Up and back, exhale. So you're moving over your third chakra, the center of your belly, and you're activating energy, fire, vitality. Inhale. Exhale, lean forward, interlace your hands, and then press your knuckles back and down. Use your back muscles. And then three breaths. Welcome the breath. Welcome energy, prana. Big smile across your collarbones. Inhale. Exhale. Hands release to the ground. Pick your back knee up and step back, downward facing dog. Just recover the breath. <sighs> It's so helpful to the nervous system to breathe out with sound like that. Lift through your heels, zip up the front of the body, shifting forward to high push-up. Exhale, left knee down, a little tap, back up. Right knee down, a little tap, up. Both knees down, inhale forward. Exhale, soften and melt. Stay in control of the lowering. Point through your toes, inhale your cobra pose. This time, exhale, child's pose. Three deep breaths. Lift up, shift forward, and maybe that's it. Maybe you gotta get going. That would be great, right? That's plenty to energize. Or you could bring your knees to one side of your mat. Here, go to the left, coming to your right hip. And so you just take yourself down into the side, like a little sideways child's pose. Keep your head safe. Left arm to the left, right arm to the right. Just a, a little bit of a twist. But after child's pose, if that's where you pieced out, absolutely fantastic. And then here, shift to the center. Move a little bit to the right side. And then knees to the left. Arms open. It could be like goal post. They could be straight out. Left hand could go to your outer right thigh. But try not to over effort at the end. Inhale, center. Exhale, feet to the ground. Center your body. And then open your feet as wide as your mat. Let your knees touch. Constructive rest. Before we go into Shavasana, we always do things in the middle. That way we're symmetrical, going into a symmetrical pose. And we're not leaking energy. You could stay there or open the knees to the other direction. Supta Baddha Konasana. And then if you still have a little bit more time, stretch your legs to the outer corners for final relaxation. Shavasana. And then stay here as long as you want or, or can today. Just to seal this experience between us 
hands come to our hearts. And from my heart to your heart, to the heart of the universe, namaste. Have a great day, everybody. <laughs> Peace.